Hey everybody, how are you? It's Kendra. I am on day eight of my 12 days of holiday looks. All right, let's just go ahead and get started with um, concealer. So when you put concealer on your eyes first, and I used concealer number zero, so you're just giving yourself a really clean palette to put eyeshadow on. It also gives the eyeshadow something to stick to. To start, I'm gonna use a matte color, and I'm gonna use number 41, which is slightly pink. And then we're gonna do a crease color. The crease color is color number 33, right here. It's called Coral of the Story. So we're gonna place the color like this, we're using windshield wiper motions, and then we're going to use circles to create um, some blending. We're going to start with this color right here, number 25, Shimmy Shimmy. And I'm using a pointed blending brush here. Kind of place this in the outer corner of my eye and let it blend with that coral color that I put on earlier. And now I'm just, I kind of cleaned my brush off and I'm just kind of blending that. I'm kind of blending this under the eye as well. I'm gonna use color number two and we're gonna place that on the inner corner. And then the next two colors are both copper colors. So this is color number 19. So this is just kind of a, a deeper copper and this is a really bright copper. I'm going to blend the number 19 out toward that shimmy shimmy color. Then I'm gonna use the Pretty Penny color. Pop that right on the top in the center. So it kind of goes from peachy to the Pretty Penny color to the Antiki Bar and then to Shimmy Shimmy. So it just kind of gets deeper as it goes. And to really make it fun, a pointed smoky liner brush. And this is the Pretty Penny color again. And this one is gonna go right under the eye. Next, we're gonna do a little eyeliner. And on the bottom, I'm just doing thin line right at the lash line. And then I'm gonna take my brush here and just smudge it out. All right, I gotta vote to wing it. I do it the same way almost every time. You're gonna start by doing just a thin line all across your eye. So to create the wing, you have to like draw an imaginary line. Pretend like there's an imaginary line that you're gonna trace from the outer corner of your eye here, like as if your bottom lash line follows a line up to the corner of your eyebrow. And you're just gonna like trace that up and out like that. Let's do this other side like this so we have two equal lines. When people wanna do a wing, they try to create like a whoop like a swoop, but you don't need to create the swoop because your eyeball is already swooped. You just need to create a straight line. Go from like the middle of this line and I'm just gonna draw a straight line over. Okay, then you may have to like stretch your skin out or something just to make sure it's all e even Steven. All right, so same thing on this side. We've got this line here to begin with and then you're gonna start like in the middle of the line right here and just draw a line straight across. You know, gently pull your skin out if you're gonna do that. I'm gonna just throw a little bit of mascara on. All right, let's do some complexion work. So I'm going to use this little guy for my foundation today. So my color is Shinto Zero right now. This is one of my client favorite ways, one of my client's favorite ways to apply foundation. I'm gonna just do it on half of my face at first so you guys can see the difference. And really to make this work the best, you just really need a ton of little circles. And you're basically just gonna buff it into the skin. My actual face is a little bit darker than my neck. I've got some hyperpigmentation, some redness, asthma, it's pretty normal. And um, on this side of my face, um, I've, well, what I've done is I've matched to my neck. 
So it makes me look overall a lot paler, but um, it matches my neck so I won't have any line. You, I So I dotted it all over my face before, but you can also just go directly into your palette. I've got it on my hand because I'm using my kit makeup. And you can go like this. All right, we're gonna use a little setting powder. I'm going to use my cutesy little powder brush here. I love this little baby brush for powder, for getting like strategic setting. So here's what the situation that I have. I have combination skin. I'm a complete grease ball here and here, but I get dry in other places. I like to be able to apply my powder kind of heavy in places where I'm greasy and really light in places where I'm not. And this really helps with that. And we're gonna use a little bit of highlighter palette now. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use the, it's called Sunrise. And it's this really, really pale gold. This, this little brush is really, really great because it gets right in there. Go right like this. to kind of keep up with our copper, this darkest, darkest highlight color right here. I'm just gonna pop that really lightly over eyeshadow. So that's a little extra something you could do to really make that coppery color stand out. I'm gonna also use this as a secondary highlight color right here. I know this looks crazy. But so I got it right under my what I would call primary highlight. And then I'm gonna take this and kind of blend them together. Isn't that fantastic? Come on, that's fantastic. I'm gonna do kind of a double blush thing. Kind of like I did a double highlighter, now I'm gonna stack some blush. <laughs> We're gonna, and you can use this with any two blushes that are kind of similar in, in undertone. So I'm gonna use blush number seven. It's a really, and I'm gonna use this little bitty brush. It's a really light um, peach. It's called peachy. And then I'm gonna use a darker color. This is kind of a terracotta color. This is blush number eight. I'm gonna make it a little deeper. And then I'm just gonna use a blush brush and I'm gonna kind of blend this all together. So it's darker at the bottom lighter at the top this is enduring lip color and angel food let me show you how to make this more coppery remember that same fiery highlighter we used a second ago it's not orange enough for you <laughs> um, i'm going to use a little bit of believe I personally think that my lips need to be a little darker around the outer edge. So I'm gonna take that pretty penny color. Yes, I'm talking about the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna darken the outer corners. Isn't that fun? I love, love, love to layer um, eyeshadows and um, highlighters over lip color. I think that's really a fun way to change up your lip color. I hope if oranges and coppers have ever scared you off that you will try them. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Clean up my mess. How do I get eyeshadow all the way down here? How do I do that? Sometimes you're gonna not make it straight and you're gonna have to fix it on live video, but that's fine. All right, I'm not gonna mess around with that anymore. I'm, who am I kidding? I think I'm going to, no, I'm not, not messing around with that anymore. You guys are, this is probably a little extra. Also, hopefully you learned by watching this video or probably all my videos that it's just makeup, it's not a tattoo, and you can make changes if things are not working out.